welcome to mohan classes in this video we are going to talk about probability uh, it is very very important chapter this is for 10th standard part 1 video let us start in this video we are going to discuss about the definition of some of the concepts of probability let us start one by one here what is called an experiment experiment is nothing but uh, doing the toss of a coin or rolling a dice this is these are all called the experiment we are doing experiment of tossing the coin so when we are tossing the coin what we will get we will get either head or tail similarly if you are rolling a dice what we will get we will get any of the one number 1 to 6 will be there in dice, right? So, this is called an experiment. So, that means the action of testing the event. Action of implementing the event, we can say that. Implementing the event. Okay. Event means what? Event is nothing but the outcomes. So suppose if we are tossing a coin, we will get either head or tail. That uh, outcome of head or tail is called the event. Outcomes of the experiment is called event. Okay. So we have what is experiment and what is event we have seen here. Then what about equal events? What do you mean by equal events? Suppose if you are tossing a coin, what is the output we will get? Either head or tail. So, we do not know which one is going to come first, right? So, that only uh, whenever we are starting a match or any uh, thing, we will toss the coin because it is uncertain. It will decide whether it is a head means who is uh, asked head, they are going to be win or the tail means they will be declared as a winner and they will choose batting or fielding, right? So similarly, here equal chance of getting outcomes is called head and tail. Similarly, if you are uh, rolling a dice, what you will get? You may get 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5. So this is called equal events. What is mutually exclusive event? Mutually exclusive event is nothing but suppose if you are uh, tossing a coin, you are uh, getting head. So, if head comes means it prevents of getting tail, right? So, this tail is the mutually exclusive event, this tail, because head has come, so tail is not coming, right? This is called, suppose if you are uh, rolling a dice, you are getting 5, okay? So, it prevents of getting 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 6. So, this is called mutually exclusive event. Understand what I am saying? Let us move to the next. So, here negation of an event. What is called negation of an event? Suppose, if we are uh, tossing a coin, you are getting head. So, what is the negation? See, uh, a event, event can be written as event can be written as P of E plus P of not E is equal to 1. If you add these two, you will get 1. So, if you want this P of negation means P of P, that is mutually exclusive, which is suppose if you are adding, getting head means, what you are not getting? Tail, right? So, the tail is called a negation of the event. Understand? Similarly, if you are rolling a dice, you are getting a 3 means, what is the negation? The other things. Okay. This is called a negation. It will be represented as Okay, suppose P of negation of P of A is 
we have minus a bar this is the negation understand what is complementary already i told p of e plus p of not e is equal to 1 so p of e 1 minus p of e p of e means event plus p of not event is equal to 1 so what is the complement of p of p complement of p of p is equal to 1 minus p of not e if you are sending this to that side it will become minus this is called complement so complement of p of not e is equal to 1 minus p of e so this is we will call it as a complement understand what we am saying so impossible events impossible event means the event cannot be occurred suppose if you are tossing a dice uh, do you can you able to get uh, p of 7 p of 7 is not possible right 7 will not occur that means it is 0 similarly p of 8 it is also not because we are having 1 to 6 only in a dice right so only any one of the number between 1 to 6 only will come when we are rolling a dice so if you expect 7 you are right these are all called impossible events what is called a sure or certain event very simple if you are tossing a coin you may get either head or tail so this is called a sure event so the sure event will be always one sure event means either head or tail right p of h plus p of tail is equal to always one the sum of the events will be always one either h or t this is called sure event what is the sure event means it is the probability is one probability of sure event is equal to one this p of t we can call it as p of minus h right p of h plus p of not h right not h means it is state is equal to 1 understand this is a some of the important concepts if you understand these concepts then it will be easy for you to answer your questions very easily this concept please try to understand if you have any doubt please comment it i will once again come on it now here p of e means number of events acquired divided by total possible outcomes this total possible outcomes how we can say that total possible outcomes we can say it as a sample yes we can call it as a ns space samples yes means space samples okay so ns means space sample suppose if you are tossing a coin once means what is what is the space sample either head or tail there will be two outcomes these two outcomes is called the total number of events so when you are tossing a coin you are getting head so what is the probability of head the probability of head is the event of head p of h is how many times it has come one right therefore the probability is equal to probability of the event is equal to 1 by 2 one time you got it total number of events possible events is 2 either head or tail right so 1 by 2 so this is the meaning of this number of events acquired divided by total possible outcome suppose if you are tossing the coin two times so that means what you will get hh or ht or tail head or tt understand if you are tossing the coins two times or two coins if you are tossing you will get either hh ht th or tt so that means two the number of events is two you are tossing it for two times two to the power of two that is equal to four the total number of events is equal to four suppose if you are tossing for three times two cubed you will get 
8. If you are tossing 4 times or 4 coins, the events will be 2 to the power of 4. How much you will get? 16, right? So, this is the total number of events. Understand? 2 to the power of 2. So, probability of an event is always less than a 0 or less than or equal to 1. If you are adding, suppose if you are having uh, 2, 3 probability, compound probability, if you are adding it, the total should come as 1. It cannot be more than 1. Okay. And then which of the following cannot be a probability? So, before that, here, here the probability will be in a ratio. Suppose uh, two times uh, uh, the head is coming means for in this uh, total number of events. So, H, 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 T, suppose here two heads, how many two heads will come in this event? Only one time, right? One, two, three. Two heads, P of two heads is equal to one. So, the probability of probability of the event is equal to what? 1 divided by how many total number of possible events? 4, right? So, 1 by 4. This is the, so it is this, this numerator and denominator. So, normally the numerator of the probability may be less than or equal to the denominator. It will not be greater than the denominator. Clear? Also, there may not be any negative probability. Suppose if you are having 1.5 or 1.6 like that, it is not possible in the probability. So, negative you will not get. Negative means it is less than 0. So, it should be equal to 0 or less than 1, but it cannot be less than 0. So, the probability may not be acquired in negative. So, here which of the following cannot be a probability? Here 2 by 3, it is a probability. 15 percent, how you will write 15 percent? 15 by 100, right? So, that is equal to, what you will get? 3 by 20, it is a probability. Similarly, 0 0.7 can be written as 7 by 10, right? So, it is also a probability. So, only thing, this negative sign is not a probability. So, for this, the answer is 2 minus 1.5 understand what I am saying. So, here probability of P of P is 0 0.05. What is the probability of not E? So, here what we know? P of E plus P of not E is equal to 1. Here P of E is 0 0.05. We do not know what is not E, right? is equal to 1. Therefore, P of not E, P of not E is equal to 1 minus 0 0.05. That is equal to 0 0.95 is the P of the stand. Clear? Yeah? So, that is it for the day. If you like this video, kindly share it to your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.